Welcome back everyone to a new video, Tuesday morning. I'll show you what we picked up over the weekend. Oh, we've got this Corsa, petrol, 2003. Biggest one aftermarket on it all. This friend Andy dropped the petrol Astra back off, what he had. And we also picked the diesel Laguna we'll Estate up. Um, we've got a few cars to pick up today for a Kia Sorento, Ford Fiesta, Vauxhall Astra. And I'm not thinking about some else. Oh, Citroen C4. So it's a busy day for us today. We're going to get all these collected in. We're going to have a stack behind here or get them straight to the scrapyard. Well, people, that's the course of waiting. We're just here now. Uh, we've spotted this last year, but the we, front wheel's been blown out. Looks like it's got alloy wheels on, Luke. Yeah, another Vauxhall. Another Vauxhall, 53 or all three reg. There she is. Oh, I still scratch our fucking new bed. Oh, sorry, it's wearing. We'll see how we go, eh? Hey. Let's get this key. Yeah, I've been on the back's bed. Key's there, bud. There's nobody trying on. Want to save the car from there? Eh? Yeah. I think it's gonna be. Ooh. Yeah, she's original. She's original, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Not a big hammer with that one. No. There's one at the yard though, if you want to take it right in. I'm claiming that pal I went in it first. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Three or four quid. Right. Let's get it uh put on truck. Well we're back here. We brought it back, the Astra. Luckily this one took a few smacks and it fell off the bottom there. GM45, I've got in this one out for a Dean. See what they say at EMR. But I didn't want to get this new bed uh, dirty, so put her up floor. <laughs> yeah, quick round, you see me changing it. I got earlier. This one's done. What's this one done? This one's done. 63,000. Quick check round. Check all these. Shopping control it. Look, all the light is. Then, clipper and something out. Check these bad seats, Dean. Well, there's 50p, thank you very much. 50p on the floor. That's for this one. Got three or four pound fifty out of this, Dean. Roughly. I'll double check the boot. Brand new spare. I might keep that. Pair of wellies. Size 11. I'll keep that. And this way, I'll go for something like that. I'll grab another alloy out, put another alloy with it, Dean. I'll keep that spare, it's a brand new one. Right, we'll see you soon on the next one. How do people? We're back. It's a big Citroen people carrier. This is one Dean bought last week. Uh, they're an issue with the uh, battery on it, so we've got it started now anyway, so it's right now. Not a bad thing really. It's quite level. The bin bag in window there because back to a flat and it won't go back up, but that's all sorted now. I think the, the, the biggest reason was to cut my ass getting it because it was pissing down. Yeah, pissing down as well. So I didn't think he wanted to mess around in it, but it didn't say uh, but nothing serious. Good family car. That's his start all right. It back to lead down. Have a look. Semi-automatic job. 100 and 9,000 parking brake fault it's saying let's have a check what have we got Will Smith Pursuit of Happiness Elvis Old Leeds Dove locking that would do that looks good we'll that one not in that one 
Put in there. Right, we'll uh, get this one off truck. Show it in the there. Let's get it off truck and I'll show you it running. See you in a second. Well, she's up and running. I'll just give you a quick look around her. Engine sounds alright, innit? 160 HDI. This one going up the sale, Dean? Or yeah. Loads of MLT on it. What's MLT on it, Dean? Um, Dean, what's the MLT on it? 9 for Feb next year. 9 for when? February next year. 9 for Feb next year. It's tested till. That window, the bin bag we're only on that window because it. Brand new, uh, brand new seated back as well. It's all wrapped up. Have a look. What's that for in back here? Yeah, one at seven, seven seats. One at yeah. seven seats, yeah. They've ordered a new one and put it inside for us. Brand new and they bought and never bothered fitting. It's not bad, but it'd be a good family car, cheap little run of somebody. Yes, there's a few little dings there, but not serious. What you expect for a car at this age? Sounds alright. Engine's great, not blowing no smoke. What wonders work? You have to just get a, a shout on the video, see if. Uh, if it's still here when the video goes live, get in touch with Dean. Hold on a second, see these two keys for this. Yeah, hold on sir. Yeah, get in touch with Dean if you want, if you, anyone's interested in it. Central lock in happy days. Right, over to Barn Oldswick now. Pick the other two up. Well, we're back home now, people. Just after dinner time. We're just going to have a bit of a uh, bite to eat and the brew. Probably get back out on the road, I'm not sure yet. Here's one we picked up from Barn Oldswick. Oh, now play it. Kia Sportage, electrical issue, it's going straight to the bin, uh, and I drove this back, a little tidy Fiesta, but it just sadly ran out of MOT, 07 plate, it runs and drives fine, uh, it had a good CD in it as well, I'm going to claim that, yeah, so I'm going to get these weighed in, well, God, I've not the cat off that, I'm not sure if I'm going to go over today or not, I've just messing about the indicator on the truck, it was, it was flicking fast, so I was just going to put a fresh bulb in it, I think, or something like that. So, yeah, I don't know if it's lever or anything, or not. No, it's just a bit mess with you already. Scrap. Five alloy wheels, that's the main thing. I think someone's going to look at this, actually. So I've put it on my Facebook. 600 quid. Should go. So, yeah. The old body's making uh, making some money now. So we like it. So right, we'll see you very soon on the next uh, pickup. I just thought well, weather being nice I and mean, the old cars have been collected for today. I'd fix this truck with clocks. So anyway, we've got the clocks working again. I've uh, put the ones out the uh, big spin to there. We use as a spare. But only problem is. It's come up with the mileage off the old Sprinter. I've kept my old clock just in case. Because my, this truck's done 280,000, I think, somewhere along them lines. This one's done 419,000. So it's a fair jump, in it, that? But they're all working now, so... And well, now we know if we've got fuel in, and what temperature things are, and a speed mainly. But that's all up and working now. And a fixed indicator. So... Side repeaters fixed now, so no fast flashing. All good and done. There's are getting boxed off. Someone told me to uh, use a, a what called a, a bleach thing chemical called SIF. So we use it for your kitchen. Said give it hot water and SIF for the uh, outside of the truck. He said it'll bring it up like new. So I might give that a do. Then I'll like just uh, touch these little bits of scabs up. Then little bits there. Get them neatened up. Make the truck look a lot better. Match the back then. Right, we'll see you on the next one. Welcome back everyone, it's a, uh, Wednesday morning. We're on our way to Baxter and Car Breakers, they've bought this 09 plate, uh, what is it, Luke Kia? Kia Sorento. Sorento offers. So we're, we're dropping that off this morning. The Citroen sold to a family friend, he's using that to go skips in and up and down. Uh, what else is there? Oh, John's going for the C Max up later on today as well. You need French connection spares? Yeah. It's coming after dinner time. Have we had nothing else to pick up at minute? No phone calls yet, so I'll probably just try to play a few in for me and mine, eh? Yeah, get a few bolted out, get a bit more price. That's the one. So, we'll get 
get some footage at Baxton done when we get this uh, car lifted off. Probably lifted off at Portland. Be back with you soon. Well, we're at Baxton and Car Breakers now. Our Luke's just reversing down. We didn't want to go further in and scrape up back at body. We're just going to dump it here. A few more cars in. That's for sale, Triumph. Keep going, Luke. Go on. Keep going. Go. New back on it. That's not that. That'll do, Luke. Yeah, we'll pull the ramps out now. These lads will pick, pick this down to the bare shell. So if you need any bits off it, these lads will sort you out. Just mention us. And then we'll look after you. So, great. <laughs> we'll get it uh, took off now. Well, we're just having a bit of a quiet day today, people. Uh, our looks, I think our looks nipped off to do one do a bit of metal detecting. Past few hours by, that weather's good. I managed to get that running again. Uh, so I've been running up and down in that. Well, I just had a phone call for a, I think it's an X Tap or an S Tap Jag 2.2 diesel. So I'm on my way down Burnley Centre now to go and pick that up. It said it runs and drives. Hopefully, it's all original cat and stuff like that. So, right, I'll show, I'll show you the Jag when I get there. Well, we're back, people. Here it is, uh, Jaguar Estate, diesel, 2.2, runs and drives but it's rough as old boots, it actually chucked two alloy wheels in and uh, a car battery for free as well which is an extra bonus, there it is, yeah it's not worth taking any bits off, I don't see why people really spray paint back lights and stuff on stuff like this you know. So that's another one for the bin. I think our looks where he's gone metal detecting his, his back to bought a Volvo or something as well. So. <laughs> Just can't help himself. The Volvo estate, I think it is. Petrol one. So hopefully we can put that up tomorrow. And keep getting some more footage in. Well, people, we're back now. We're where the jagging. That's gone. Uh, we're just... John's here from French Connection Spares. We've come to pick up the C-Max. Our Luke's just going to winch it on with him now. It's starting to bloody rain now. Even he's got a sprint to a good truck. A bit cleaner at cab than ours. Might take his doors off when he's not looking. <laughs> Our Luke's dropped some oil on it back at the truck. I need to have a stern word with him. Might give him a written warning. It carries on. I might have to get rid of it. Still a few here we need to get through, but like I said yes, uh, yesterday, now Luke's done a deal on a few cars. So yeah, another C Max off to the lads. I put my smiley, like a stupid bugger, I put it on eBay for about five minutes and then took it straight back off. I don't know what everybody think, it cost me 15 quid to put it on. I put it on for five minutes and thought, Dean, what are you bloody doing? I took, it, I took it back off, I'll just leave it there for the time being. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet if my auto sleep is up for sale. I've got my eyes on another camper van, so that might be up for sale. It needs a bit of body work, I've been quoted about four or five hundred quid. It's a, it's a nine and a half, ten grand van done, mint. As it is, with the bodywork needing doing, I'll take seven grand for it. Cheap bus, especially with COVID job and all that carrying, we know what crack is. But it just wants a bit of bodywork on it. Not rotten at all, past its MOT, you've seen it before. Just wants uh, wheel arches and uh, a couple of scabs sorting out and a bit of a dint on still. But it's perfectly usable as it is but like I said I'll take seven grand for that as it as it is and yeah I need to drop that off at Adams too so yeah it's all go and that's loaded on now that's trapped on 
to go and get this bloody scrap from uh, Scrap Cars for Aslandon now. Back with you very soon. Well, here's the first one our Luke's bought from the metal detecting uh, place yesterday where we went. Diesel Passat. The chat wants his wheels back, which is fair enough, it's a nice chat. So we, we bought the, uh, this one. Luke's just messed about with a cat and got a battery for it. So that's going to go. We're going to the yard now with this one. Oh, look at that. Bring the big petrol Volvo with. Oh, yeah, I'm not bothered about that. Look, what have you done to me, Ben? Oh, it's only had three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's second warning you have today. <laughs> Written. Written warning. Next one. Final strike. I'm going to have to go on my own. A turbo petrol Volvo estate. I think it's the five cylinder ST, four engine, but it's getting scrapped. Oh, I'm getting scrapped. It's not time to mess about with crap. The crappy cars. Best part of all, that 405 in the corner there, Dick. Give over, see that red dial up there, what I put on eBay and took put it back off. Put on eBay, five minutes, this is, then changed his mind. Cost me 15 quid for now. You need to know what you're doing with it, you get shut of it or keep it, what are you doing? If someone comes with 10 grand, they can have it. <laughs> right, oh, this weather. Two old land crabs there, look. They're not weighing straight in as well. Weighed a lot in. Dinner on. Yeah. Fridge there, can't do it with them. We haven't done any street scrapping for a while, have we? No. <laughs> it's been insurance, mega insurance for a scrap van and that ugly thing now, yeah. Anyhow. Anyhow, right guys, get to the scrapyard. Content. <coughs> Welcome back everyone. We've waited, no, that's not what we've done. We've waited, we've been a bit of the sound way the Yeah, the Passat's gone. Then we went back up to pick the other cars up. And Absolutely. Luke's just, yeah. well, we're out for it. Yeah, you have to keep going. I think so. I was going to say you took wrong turning, but it looks like we'll be alright. And uh, yeah, I'm looking scroll through Facebook and I spotted a Toyota Revenge as a state petrol. Oh, that's a good wagon, that. I'll have that. So I went and bought it from Stockport. There she is. Give good money for it, give £500 for it, it's got now month test on it. But, but. That has 405 got today's last day yeah looks, looks four or five runs out of mot today i think it should be a flip of a coin head to tail job thing yeah, yeah but it's a good pigeon wagon that yeah i know i like you borrow it when you need it you only need pigeons once a week um so this so so might be a flip of the coin toss for this but i found it so i should get first dibs on it nah i think 50 50 thing in it what's that four or five so if anyone's got a toy or a for sale let me know and i'll look about that off you yeah an inventor so what was it or a corolla <laughs> Diesel or petrol doesn't matter. It's got a bit of a dint on boot, but and a bit like of an exhaust blow, but it's all right. It's got its original cats in there. Yeah, two cats on it. You'll get his money back probably on for them. So yeah, I'm gonna just in Stockport now on his way back. Then we're gonna call it a day because it's been hammering it down. And planes are still flying in though. Aren't yeah, they? big planes. Not, I don't know if there's any of them out now. Two or three gone over us already. Mm. So um, yeah, well we'll get we'll show you a full detail look around this car when we get back in about 45 minutes. So see you soon. Well, we're back home now, people. I thought I'd show you around the uh, the old girl that we just bought. She's got alley wheels on. Ah, a few bits of scabs and stuff. I bet you people love it when we come to look at cars because we don't even bother lifting the bonnet or check it oil or anything. We're not bothered. Me? If it's right, what? Heads and tails. Oh, nah. <laughs> not getting away with this one. Is it double end, is it? No, it's a definitely a normal five pounds. What could we do on heads Whoa, and tails? Heads, isn't it? Heads. Let it land off lower. Yo, you fucker! You've hey. got it, it's yours, bastard. I've found another. Well, this is it. It's my new motor truck. <laughs> I do a lot of a, uh, a lot of winning up roulette and jobs. Lot. <laughs> yeah. hey. Well, you've uh, you made your bed, Luke. <laughs> you can have this van here, though. I don't want it. Look, fake van. You like a fake taxi? You can have a fake man. <laughs> Get your misses it back a bit. Right, jump in here, Luke. I'll give you one last. You can have one last drive of it. Hold, hold me sat now. Oh, we've got a sat nav out of one of cars as well. Tom, Tom. Freebie. He's got to give that though to his uh, mother in law. Oh, it's like an armchair in like a city. Real pigeon wagon, that, innit? Oh, we've got a C4 petrol to pick up as well later on. Off a lifelong family friend. Don't be scratching it or burn it clutch out on purpose. One twenty-eight thousand miles. 
Yeah. What a machine. Yeah, gone as well. What a, what a beautiful stuff. I've got any petrol in the door. I'll have to drain one of these buggers. Nice rate, that. What do you what people think about it? Yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. As you can see, it's dark. Clouds. This radio works boot like Luke. Oh, oh, let's have a look. That. Any money in it? Oh, you get your in there, Dean. Yeah. Ali or not? No. No, good spare wheel there, is it all? Yeah, oh, no, it's a bit of bearing, but... No fate, isn't it? Good, good user. I'll somehow get that off you, I think. That wants to go to the bin, really, that one there. Jordy, eBay that now. Well, any, anyone on subscribers or anyone what viewers want to buy that, I found a loot. Let me know it is for sale. It's a one owner in it, Luke. One owner, 83,000 miles. 83,000 miles. Handbrake cable snapped on it, though. It is handbrake cable and probably a, a couple of ball joints or something like that. Yeah, Niggly bits underneath. Be 500 quid for it, though. 500 pounds, the rare. Can't get them anymore. I really want to sell about it, I've had, well. I've had nearly 12 months from oh, open door now, look, Joe, what have we got? Oh, yeah. We've got some goodies in here. I've had nearly 12 months from water now, like that. Mm. Well, all, all my pigeon stuff, but I've got a friend give it me. Well, never mind that, this is what we're looking oh, at underneath. Right there. Scrap mine gold. Nice uh, copper. Oh, watch your back. A lot of uh, bright copper when we spin this. We've got a That's rainy awesome. day, there's a fair bit there. Not today though, even though it's raining. <laughs> yeah, raining today, we're not going to do it today. Um, so yeah, I've got my V perches and some feed and stuff I need to clean off at Penn. Ready for the birds coming. We were saying earlier as well, we don't know if they bother carrying on with the street scrapping job and might yeah, cancel might... insurance, because they're expensive, innit? 300 odd quid a month for that. Insurance, insurance on this big van, so she might be going and we might, we might keep the van and put it on normal insurance and not yeah, the yeah. scrap. Yeah, that might be the one. It's worth more as a shed, isn't it? Yeah. When it's no test on it. Yeah. So that's about it, really. So don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Thumbs up. And hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think of this video. I'll see you on the next one, people.